was a very education, Olive. Oh, Popeye, look! George Washington Bridge! <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. Oh, my! What's that, Popeye? Oh, let me see now. That's a brontosaurus, cutie. One of the largest of the prehistoric animals, beautiful. <laughs> Come on, Olive. This prehistorical stuff is nothing but empty bones. Let's look at the King Arthur exhibit. Mm, now that's what I call a gorgeous dish. Original armor of Sir Lancelot. Oh, Popeye, just think how romantic it was in those days with knights fighting in shining armor for their lady love. Why, I could have taken any one of them on with me bare fists. Too bad I didn't know you in those days, dreamy eyes. I'd have been your big knight. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oliver's me goyle, and you're a button in. Listen here, Rut. I'll flatten you. Now, now, wait a minute. Why not settle this like they did in King Arthur's day? Uh, and how's that? Why, the knights in armor had a joust on horseback just for their fair lady's hand. Okay, gorgeous. I'll do joust that for you. I think it's silly, but if you want me to fight for you, I'll put on one of them tin suits. <laughs> I feel just like the maiden Guinevere. There you are, my fair Guinevere. Sir Brutus and his challenger, Sir Saturday, the knight of the bed. <laughs> oh, how mortifying. This is the best they could does for me. They makes no harm any size. All right, my fair knight. When I droppeth the hanky, ye both cometh out jousting. Oneeth, twoeth, and threeeth. Come on, get us going there. Oops. Oh, so you want to play tricky, eh? You stubborn mule. Lift your anchor and shoves off. Them, join them. Get the lead out of your hoofs. Now, Rut, you're gonna get the fly casting treatment. One to get ready, two to get set, and three to go.
Ahoy! There she blows. That's the Sea Hag's Island up ahead. Oh, Popeye, I'm afraid. You got nothing to worry about, Olive. The Sea Hag's a smart one, but this time we're gonna surprise her. <laughs> we'll see who's gonna get the surprise. <laughs> Come out, my dear. Don't be shy. That's the girl. You sound a little run down, dearie. <laughs> Popeye will follow Olive anywhere. Go get him. <laughs> and now for my special brand of goon greeting. <laughs> Just drops it, Olive. Oh! Popeye! Oh, help! Popeye, help! Come on, Olive. Oh, now, where'd she go? Huh? Wow, blow me down. How'd she get past me? Olive? Olive, you sounds like she's got a cold coming on. Huh? Huh? My gosh! I didn't know Olive was getting so old. I'd better give the old girl a hand. Hey, Olive, wait for me. Hey! Welcome. <laughs> the sea hag. <laughs> what have you done with Olive? She's in perfectly good hands. <laughs> Popeye, help! Says who? <laughs> Popeye! Are you the Larsted Witch? <laughs> Ah, now that I've got you here, I can go out and do a little honest pirate work. <laughs> Come on, Sylvester. Let me out. Well, blow me down. If it ain't Olive. <laughs> hey, Olive, don't you remember your old sweetie Popeye? Come on, you gotta help me out of here. Are you kidding? It's solid steel. Even I can't do it without me spinach. Huh? How did you get so blasted strong? <laughs> hey, let go! Oh, Popeye, help! Popeye! Oh! <gasps> so that's why he came here, just like any other sailor or girl in every port! That, that, that Casanova! Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Huh? Olive! Oh, didn't you expect me, lover boy? Oh, my gosh. I must be seeing double. Olive, which one is you? I am, of course, but who is she? I don't know. Why, Popeye, she's nothing but a robot. I guess you're right, Olive. But she sure fooled me. Oh, I think the poor girl, I, I mean the robot, loves you. I got no time for love. Uh-oh, the Sea Hag's goon squad's coming for us. <laughs> you better get me spinach, Gollum. It's on me ship. All right, Popeye. Oh, sorry, Olive. They're too much for me. It's me old sweetie, the robot. She brung me spinach. <laughs>
That's right, Olive. I promise us to buy you anything you want for your birthday. Oh, Popeye, would you buy me one of those? <laughs> Why, you getting married or something? <laughs> no, I'm not getting married, especially not to you. We've been going together for so long, you're, you're, you're an old man. Old man? Me? That's ridiculous. Can I help you across the street, sir? What? Well, well, why don't we hit him? He didn't want to be helped across the street, and you said he wanted to. Never mind, Sonny. Let's say it's your good deed for the day. The neighbor that kid. I'm going to look for somebody that's young and handsome. Young and handsome, eh? I've got an idea. See, Haggy, you gotta help me. I wanna get young and handsome. You? Young and handsome? That's a pretty tall order. <laughs> Never mind the wisecracks. You're no prize winner yourself. I'll have to give you my extra strong formula. You think it'll work? Watch this. <laughs> Voila! That's terrific. Give me that. You must be careful not to take more than one drop. Bad. Why, Brutus, you <laughs> handsome devil. <laughs> Sit down. Let's talk for a little while. Some other time, see, Haggy. I got a date with a doll. When is this, senorita? Uh, 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 hi. I would be delighted to know your name, gorgeous. Why? It's olive oil, I'm sure. <laughs> I am Don Juan. Don Juan? Yeah, when you've done one, you've done them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, won't you please sit down, Mr. Don Juan? It would give me great pleasure. I could think of something that would give me greater pleasure. Your beauty speaks to me with the voice of sweet eternity. Ooh, more, more! Say, speaking of voices, haven't I heard yours somewhere? No, you stu... Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I don't believe we've ever met before. Ah, I got it now. It's Brutus's voice. Come on, take off that mask, Hey, let go of my Popeye, face! have you gone mad? It's him, Olive. It's Brutus. Popeye, how can you be so silly? Brutus is ugly, but Don Juan here, whoo, he's handsome. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> hey, what's this? Youth, Pushkin, the more you takes, the younger you gets. Pushkin uses only one drop. So that's it, huh? If one drop can do that for Brutus, imagine what a good swig will do for me, huh? <laughs> I have a cure for that. Popeye was right. You are Brutus. This is a chance I've been waiting for for years. Ha <laughs> ha
Machine is ready. So we call the victim. <laughs> I mean the time traveler. <laughs> bye bye the sailor man. I has always wondered whether Chris was as brave a sailor as history says. Here comes Popeye right on time. Now we say goodbye to the time traveler. It's Columbus's birthday. upon this most perilous voyage of our lives, I wish us to propose a toast. A toast to one who has hot her jewels to make our voyage possible. To none other than Her Majesty, the Queen. To the Queen! Alleluia! As captain of the Nina, I propose a toast to your crew. To the success of our voyage and our three mighty ships. To the Nina. To the Pinta. To the Santa Maria. To the North Star. To hamburgers. To the Atlantic Ocean. Wake up. What Chris is trying to say, you swab, is it's time we set sail for the Indies. To your ships, men! It's Her Royal Majesty the Queen to wish us a bon voyage, no doubt. Greetings, Admiral of the Ocean Sea. I bring you a few going away presents. Seasick pills, a spyglass. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, dear, dear, dear. Hmm. Oh, a mild case of hiccups. <laughs> I know just the remedy. Salt, please. Salting the tongue should stop it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I dropped the cellar. Oh, quickly, a bucket of water. One swallow and three jumps of your head. May I suggest that you frighten him? <laughs> I've got it. A sure cure. Hold your breath. I tell you, Swabs, this voyage is senseless. Columbus is sending us all into certain danger. Our ships will be crushed like eggshells by giant squid. And we'll all be swallowed alive by the monstrous sea serpents. Don't believe Columbus's malarkey about the world being round like a melon. It's flat as a pancake. Yeah, and we'll all fall off into space. We must stop this voyage. Hmm. Looks like a mutiny. Mutiny it is. I say we don't sail. I say, uh... Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> 
up his sleeve. Aha, <gasps> uh -huh, Spinaccio! Maybe it's why Columbus got smashed into America instead of finding out a quick way to the West Indies. 